Hey guys, Rich Boy Jay here, back again with a quick update video. My flight is in about five hours, so I'm going to be taking off to Legoland then, but I just wanted to catch you guys up on a few things. Now, I wasn't able to make a final update video before the convention for the Millennium Falcon. That's actually packed away right now, I just didn't have enough time to get that done. But I was able to add in some lights for the hyperdrive in the back, um, and I was able to finish up everything else that I wanted to do. So once we get to the convention, um, I'm actually doing a video showing you guys what it's going to look like when I um, get there and take it out of the luggage that I'm taking it in just to do some damage control and I think that'll be interesting. And also, um, I want to show you guys some of the other cool things at the convention, so that'll be really exciting. The other thing is, um, this is the haul that I picked up. Uh, the June 1st sets finally dropped and this is what I got. I'm really happy with this wave. I went ahead and picked up four of the new First Order Battle Packs, uh, two of the Bounty Hunter ones. Got the Wrath Tar Escape set. <laughs> Got two of those new hover tanks. Darth Vader Transformation. And the Quad Jumper. Went ahead and got the two Guardians of the Galaxy sets that I didn't have already. And this one was actually a Walmart pickup. I don't know if you guys have seen lately, but Walmart has been having some crazy clearance deals at some of their stores on these older Star Wars sets. So I actually got this ATTE for $30. <laughs> that was really cool. And also, I went ahead, I mean, you guys can see the uh, Lego room is quite a mess right now. That's what it usually looks like after one of my builds. But I went ahead and I made um, an EA do vignette. So I was going to give you guys a quick look at that. One of the cool things that they do at Legoland Star Wars Days is um, every year they'll pick a movie and we'll recreate every scene in it on these 16 by 16 stud vignettes. And this is the one I did. And then also, this is the badge that I take to conventions. If you couldn't tell already, this is the Force Awakens poster redone in Lego. So that's going to finish up this one, guys. I just wanted to give you some quick updates on what's going on with me. I'm going to be doing a few videos when I get to the convention. I'm really excited. Once again, if you guys are in the California area near Carlsbad, come out to Legoland Star Wars Days this Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be a great time and you're going to see some awesome things. Also, if you haven't seen already, I'm doing a giveaway since I hit 2,000 subscribers. Um, I have a video posted on that, so check for that. And, um, I mean, see if you can win some free Lego. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal to me. That's going to finish up this one, guys. Uh, if you like what I do, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. That way you'll be the first to know whenever I drop something new and I have plenty more coming. I guess this is your guys' first peek at that uh, Scarif Citadel that I'm working on, uh, my friend Garrett and I. So, it's going to be exciting. We'll be working pretty heavily on that once I get back, so... Uh, that's going to finish it up, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.